everybody and welcome back to Danny and Son's Real Tech Mod Pack. So today, well, there's a few things I wanted to do. Uh, I went fishing, got lots of fish and other bits and pieces, but maybe think I'd like to do something slightly different. That's not part of my real plan. My real plan is to get, and get on and do a bit of engineering, but we needed to make some bits, do some cleanup possibly. Um, so let's have a look at that first of all. I had to make these plates, didn't I? Now, what did I do? I think those plates were just in a row of three like this. No, they weren't. I know what they were for. They were for the part of this stuff, weren't they? Oh, wrong way around. Not bad. So we'll make some eight fluid pipes. So we should be able to pipe stuff out of that uh, coke oven. And, oh, I've got some cotton in here. Don't need that. Basically, I've just upgraded this one because it's uh, it was full. But what I'd like to start off with today, I've got some more leather, good. Because, oops, try doing that again. And I'm putting the leather into this one, I think. Yeah, I've got 12, I've got 12 so far, now we've got 16. And in fact, I've got some cooked mutton here, so we can use the cooked mutton as well for doing this stuff. Let's just put it here. Any cooked meat will do. So what I want to do is to set up an automated fish farm. What I've got here is one slab and four blocks behind that, one up, I've got a note block. Now, if you know anything about this, you've got a note block, you can, normally if you've got a fishing rod here like this, and you fish against something like that, it goes like that. It, the right click's not getting absorbed. If you do it, get, if you do it against the other way, if you do it against a note block, it does it doesn't fl keep flicking your tap. So that's what the principle is. And here I've got a chest with some actually some bits and pieces in, including the iron door that I need to do this thing with. So first thing that we'll do is put down an iron door. This design is actually uh, from Panda four 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 nine nine four. So you can put an iron door like that. And the idea is we also need to put a slab on top of the iron door. So we'll do that first of all here. And that's very important. I just spent ages trying to figure it out. So th then we want to put in here, we're going to put in the hopper. And the hopper's going to face here it is, this chest. Oh, wrong one. Try it again. Right, get the right thing in my hand now. So the hopper is basically where the water goes. So on top of this chest, we need to put. Um, some bricks now actually that straight enough is actually stairs because normally if you put a slab on top of this now you can't open the chest anymore and that's one of the changes to it 12 that's gone into there did you see that flicked itself in so what we have to do to do that is we can then put some stairs now stairs do work i want to put the stairs in that way around so what i'll do is i'll put a, a block on top of the hopper to start with which we can use for construction and we can then simply click the top corner of this and then the stairs go in that way and then we can open the chest which is actually just what we want to do now we need some blocks so we need a block up here and a slab on top of that and that's where we're going to be standing to fish and i am remove this in a minute we need we just need that block for a little bit longer oops can't get up here to put another block down here and then on top of that we need to be and uh, put the well I've got enough blocks on I and just need another block. I'll tell you what we'll use this just we'll use a fishing tank for the sake of it. Put the fishing tank down here and then we can put this block on top of it. I think I've got I'm not putting on top <laughs> can't put it on top of the fishing tank. No I didn't know that. And no too good. I want to basically put a block in this space here gonna do for that let me just go and get some more blocks nothing in there hmm I thought I'd got enough blocks I should have I knew I was gonna need some more just one of those things uh, dirt so we can put a a block of dirt down here like that and then put on top of it this one but i think yeah i do need the other one that's exactly what i need so i can remove that now and on that one we're going to put the actually i don't need this block anymore do i i'll move this one out of the way 
because that's not going into the chest as it's supposed to do. So we're going to put onto this now the shit wire hooks. So one goes on that side like that. And then on the other side over here we need the same thing. So I'm just going to put down a... Oh, I forgot to take my redstone with me. Take the redstone with me. Put down a dirt block here. I put onto that the other block here. And then we can put the other trip wire like that. Um, I remove that. I think, actually, I'm not sure whether I need that or not. Like that. We shall see. So then we can put a bucket of water into this, like this, and shift right click it. And that puts a bucket of water on there, like that. So all we need to do now is to put the, the, the string down. So we should have a piece of string. Ah, oh, I just sent my piece of string away, didn't I? I was just right clicking everything and I took my string away. Tell you what. Ooh. <laughs> I was wondering if I could do that. Too far right. Oh yeah, I'll pick it up. Might as well, we might as well harvest the string while it says we always need string. And it's easier than killing spiders. So you just right click that. Oops. Oh, I just did miss there, did I? Yeah. I just think that. Yeah, right click the, the tripwire hook. The tripwire hook, and then it, it connects automatically. And basically, that's it, I think except for one piece of redstone. Now this trip was going to put up, we need to open the door when this goes off. So all you need to do is put one piece of redstone down here. Like that. And then the door will open when the hook's on. So to get off the hook, the door will close. So all you do now is you, you start to fish. So I've got an ordinary fishing rod here. So you, you just right click the top of the door like that. And that's it, it's as simple as that. And it just until the fish comes along, it will stay there. So of course you can basically, if you want to do something else, I don't like standing in timing my right clicks until it actually comes up. I don't mind holding a button down. So you can actually reprogram your right click to being a button in the controls, I think. You should get fish fairly soon like that. And when you want to go off this, you just right click somewhere else like that. Then we can have a look in here. So this time we picked up a raw sardine. Um, these are all the things you've got. Jellyfish are actually surprisingly useful. I hadn't realised that. And these fish as well are fairly quite useful. So you can basically take a sardine like this, self-craft it into a normal fish. The jellyfish, you can self-craft them into slime balls. So they are. <laughs> so there's another way of getting slime balls. That's why I thought I'd set up the fishing. So you just basically right click and just wait. So of course. In this particular pack you've got to be a bit careful because you need to watch out for your food and your and your drink but it doesn't actually take too long before you get your i think if you enclose this a bit it wouldn't be too difficult to to stand there so what we've got that time of course we'll get all sorts of things in this case so we've got a well, i don't know what we've got actually I have no idea what we've got. Maybe we've got, no. Maybe we've got nothing. Anyway, that's how that works, and it's night time, so let's have a sleep. It's a funny place for a count there, isn't there? I said before you can actually do this with your sleeping bag, you can put it down and just go to bed when you need it. So that's that. So I shall do with some of that off camera in the future. I think you can fill in these blocks quite happily as well. I'm not sure about that. But that's how it works. In the panda design, he did it slightly different. He put the chest at the front, but you can't open the chest with a slab on it. So that was why I did it that way. And of course, I can do the same thing with this fish tank over here, of course. I'm not sure that this particular fishing rod gives you a better performance, so to speak. Uh, I'm not even sure whether you could use a fish tank instead of water on that. Oh, no, I don't think that would work. Oh, look. So, did I get that time? Another, another jellyfish. 
we've got half some more rats. So we can actually probably do the, the cleanup stuff now, can't we? I've got some juice here just in case I get thirsty. Because this really is good. The beetroot juice is really good for that. So let's do some fish. Um, no, we'll do that later on. So the next thing I wanted to do was to do some of this stuff here. So block of diamonds, iron a button and a redstone compressor and redstone repeater. I made a whole load of those. I was going to have to make a load of those. So I got one of those, one of those. And the button is just a piece of stone. Ah, oh, my inventory is very full. Not good. I can get rid of this string now, can't I? Right, I'm, hmm. Okay, I'm going to put some of this stuff away in here. I'm putting this away because I'm going to make some. Going to make some carrot juice. I don't need those. They can be stacked. But we don't need the sticks. And the stone we need to make into a button. So nine diamonds. Probably quite expensive. Hopefully, it's good. So that was the diamond vacuum tube, wasn't it? I'm missing one iron ingot. Right again. So we now got a diamond vacuum tube. The next thing I wanted to make was this one, wasn't it? So we need how many pieces of leather? There, that's eight, eleven pieces of leather, two diamonds. Wool and slime wool. Well, we've got a slime wool, that's good. Uh, if, in fact, we've got lots of honey over there as well. We could actually start doing that. In fact, I think let's take out some honey from here and put those into there. And I think we should get slime balls from those, shouldn't we? I'm not sure. Right. We need two diamonds, two pieces of wool. I think I've got some wool around. I can't remember where I put it, of course. That wool too, that'll do fine. And some leather, we do need lots of leather. How much how many did I take out of there? I've got 16, 20, that might do. So I need to make a leather tunic, a standard recipe. the slime ball. Which you can make from this jellyfish. Got some more jellyfish in there. I actually don't want to do the slime balls. <laughs> so there we've got our diamond vacuum bag which has got a capacity of 1024. If we compare that against gold that's it's double as much. And gold is pretty rare in this pack. So the last thing we need to make is a diamond uh, respirator. So we need a helmet, two glass jars, two more pieces of wool and some leaves. No big deal at all. Let's get that sorted out as well. So pieces of glass are probably over there. Wool we've got back here. I think we got some wool. It was in this wasn't it? No it was in the, it was in the room. I should have got lots of wool somewhere. But that, that makes up a free slot in there, that's also good. Glass, we need some sand. Got more leather in there as well. I got some fish with me. No. Nope. glass bottles two diamonds leather helmet I think that's all we need for this one 
Oh, leaves. That's no big deal. Where are my shears? I can't see them there. They're probably one of these. Yeah, there's a pair of shears in there. Good. I'm gonna I'm gonna chop one of these off here because they're a funny colour. <laughs> I think they belong to a different tree. So let's just break that one. All right. I think that wasn't quite what I wanted. Leave that like that. So we have a diamond pollution respirator. Fantastic. But I'll go and get that piece of. We're not a good thing idea to go into the water, but at the moment, because it's starting to get towards winter. I think yep, that's the end of end of all uh, end of autumn or middle of autumn at the moment. So we've got I think everything that we need. Let's go and fill up this bottle with some water into it. Water in it. Did it actually use a bunny sp No oh, it does doesn't use anything up good. What we're gonna do is shove that through the um furnace. Can make some distilled water and there's a cooked octopus shouldn't take a second there we go so with that we can make some carrot juice this is tougher than L's recipe let's just press that let's press W on that and get it at the top there and the third one was a carrot where's my carrots gone to did I leave my carrot behind oh brilliant <laughs> And get a carrot first. Loads of them around. What else have a carrot? Better. Okay, I must have done something funny with it. W. Shit. I should probably could have done that from there. Let me get some carrot juice. Two carrots. Which we'll go and get rid of. In fact, I'll see if I can get rid of anything in here. Is that sorted? It is now. Yes, yeah, got rid of the carrots. I'm just thinking if we can get rid of anything in here as well. What do, do I not want to take with me? Probably the slime balls. Is there anything else we can get rid of in there? No. I would like to get rid of these um, tanks, I don't need those with me all the time. I think that will do. It's coming towards winter, I might need to take my woolen, woolen wear with me. Have we got anything else in here that I can get rid of? Probably some leather and some dirt. So we've got our pickaxes, buckets, arrows, which we haven't got enough of, scoop, book, dome. Now somewhere or other we should have another ca uh, crafting table. I think it's in here. Good. Is it night time? It's looking a bit dark. Oh yes, it's coming towards night time for about five minutes. Minecraft time that is, which is not very long at all. <laughs> oh, that was a very bad move. We'll get out and we'll sleep on these. We'll sleep on these logs. <laughs> there they go. <laughs> right. So what I want to do in here is I want to get this stuff out of here, don't I? Ah, of course it doesn't have enough space. Or it doesn't have enough space for the creosote. Well, I was wondering what was going on. 
let's just put this down here like that. Oh, we need some planks, don't we? I haven't got any wood with me. I'll have to go and get some wood. In the meantime, we can put the two buckets into there and get those out. Interesting, it has, still hasn't activated this. Must need more space than that. In fact, I'm not sure how we're going to do the piping for this one. Let's just try and see if it actually does go somewhere. It might need to be in the front. Now, does that connect? It does, I'm not seeing it. So anyway, so let's go and get some planks of wood. I need, probably need to chop down some trees for that. Uh, he says, oh, I'm freezing. Gosh, I, th was good. I thought the colours were a bit strange. Just run. I'd forgotten it was daytime. Oh, well, probably not a good idea to get that water, was it? Right, now I think that my woolen wears in not in there not in there but there's a campfire in there we could use that if we get stuck but my temperature's gone up a bit now so i'm not sure why it was so cold before where have i put me wool and where it's probably it could be in this chest i've been using this chest as a dumping chest Temp in for one yet, have we? Should do that. Alright, that's good. Ten's a good ten's a good number. But I think I know we can survive the winter here anyway, without any problem whatsoever, just by being what we've got at the moment. So let's just put this stuff out of here. Oh, it's not a bit like. Sort that as well. Actually, they get sorted down at the bottom in reasonably interesting order. I can take these two out to that now because I've got. I added some more space to this. I don't want those with me. I don't want the blocks of coke either. The cold. Blocks of cold coke. I don't need those with me. In fact, we didn't take these fish out as well. Let's do that. Let's quickly do those fish. Oh, it doesn't do it. So look at the uses of that one then. A raw eel. We can make it into something jelly deal, that's fine. We can cook it to a raw oh cook it straight to raw fish, okay fine. Cooked fish. Let's just quickly go and shove those into the into the and oh, no, I'll shove them in the chest here, because they will disappear across anyway. don't need two fishing rods either. I think that's reasonably good. Take some distilled water with us. We want some wood. But actually I've got two I've got two juices, I don't need any water at all. So let's just leave the canteen back here. Because always you can always use glass jars for doing that anyway. So where are we going to go and harvest some wood? Probably at the back here. See, this is already frozen over. Might be worthwhile trying to pickaxe it, actually. Let's take the fortune pickaxe on that. See if we get some more. Yep, yeah, we did. Fantastic. That's the first time I've seen that freeze up, actually. Do I have some something move over there? Or is it just an imagination? Well, here's a big tree. They're always challenging to cut down, but they give you lots of wood. Let's do this one first of all. I yeah, got six ice cubes. That's good. And we have to make a lot of ice cubes because we want we can start to make that jellied. Um, what's it called? I don't know. To keep us cool in the in the Nether, it's basically for the Nether. Oh, that, wow! That broke up fast, didn't it? Oh, yes, I haven't got my um, 
Uh, armor on, have I? Do you know what I can do though? Let's put down one of those saplings. Nine pieces of wood no, is nowhere enough, near enough, but we've got something special. Well, I made it. What I made was a magnet, and I think you might have seen it somewhere. It's not in there. This chest. Yes, here we go. This magnet from Magnetic Craft. Actually, I used. I made one of these to see. Let's have a look at the recipe for this. It's very straightforward. It's very straightforward. Oops. It's one piece of iron, four um, blue dye or whatever, and redstone, and that makes this magnet. So I hope that now we can go and pick up the wood more easily. Oh, hello, you frozen over again. Good. Let's, let's use this pickaxe on that one. Is it in there? I can see it. I'll have to get in the water. Only that gives us four. So that's a. Uh, I didn't realise it could do that actually. So let's jump down. So we've got some, uh, another. It's actually quite a large birch, isn't it? Oh, it is indeed. Look at that. And this oak's another large oak. that breaks down it's fantastic <laughs> but it does stick to this other trees so I'm jumping the other trees down as well do for today. I'm not sure how good that magnet is, well they have to charge it up or something. Some of the magnet magnetic craft uses. So that's what they use it for the book. I could also use it for floppy disk but I was hoping it actually would work as a proper magnet but it doesn't seem to be great. Anyway we've got enough wood now to do some treated wood planks. <laughs> that, damn, that worked. Doesn't stop, doesn't freeze up the flowing water. But this one freezes up all the time. Maybe the magnet does work. 18. Right, so. What I'm doing is I'm trying to make some treated wooden planks, aren't I? Now we can do that, it's, mu it's much easier to can do that by the um, by the coke oven. That's why I actually brought that crafting table, because we can do the wood like that. Gets a creosote. Yeah, and you get it down to about half, and then it'll take one off. Good. So I should be able to press W on that, and it should uh, shift it. Yes, I can shift click it in. Shift click that away, and shift click the other one in. Where did that go to? That's a bit strange. Oh, I probably didn't take it out. Where did I? Oh. Could shift click it into there, that's interesting. Didn't mean to do it. I probably went into that one, didn't I? And didn't see it. Yeah, that's where it goes to. You can't take it out there, by the way. So try that again. Oh, wrong one. 
Let's go to that time, night time already. What time is it? 10.24. So we've got a few seconds. We should be able to sleep here. Hopefully we don't wake up on the... Oh, that's a lot of mobs. Over there somewhere. Probably in that cave. Ah, keep doing it. Keep to forgetting to take the bucket out. So we get another eight. So I'll leave those into that one. So that'll give us a stack of those. Ah. That shows up as the first slot, the first second slot. Okay, that's how that's working. That's the first slot and the last slot. Didn't realise that. Take it out of there, and you can take it out of there too. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Let's put that in the middle of this thing. So when we get some more wood, we'll be able to do that. To do to do a wood farm, I think the only sensible approach. Oops, I don't know what happened there. Is to use forestry make a multi-farm now what I was going to do was I wanted to make oh I could make a control I wanted to do that didn't I uh, that's fairly straightforward five pieces of stone one repeater one thing let's do that because I did make everything sensible for that five pieces of stone one diamond Oh, oh, that's two comparators, not one, one repeater. So, I need a drawer as well. I've actually decided where I want to put this. Gonna put it up here on the top in the middle. I think I can reach in the middle easily enough. But I'm not 100 percent sure whether it's gonna work. Oh gosh, I'm in the water. So what we can do is we take the furthest item away, which is a coal. Is that coal? Yeah, coal ore. And yeah, and it works. Well, that's gone back in it again. So it will do the whole of this area, which is great. So any time I come and I spend so much time cleaning up and we make sure we've got rid of everything in one click so life's a bit easier that way. So I wanted to make the workbench from immersive engineering. Now where is it? This thing. So treatable planks, crafting table and some wooden frame. That is not going to be very difficult nowadays. So we need some sticks. We need to let's two sticks of six, don't we, to make the fence. Now the fence, I'm not sure what the recipe for that is. I probably only need one actually. Let's have a look at the uses of the stick. See if we can figure it out quickly without having to go through every single recipe, that one. Oh, I've got plenty of sticks in that case. That that and a crafting table. So one piece of wood. Should be enough to make the workbench. Fantastic. Actually, that's really good. Now we can go and put this down somewhere. I've not decided where I'm going to do this yet. Oh, I've got an achievement. I was wondering what this, the noise was. So let's put the workbench down here. Yeah, fantastic. Put it down there. Now it needs a blueprint. And the reason I've gone and done this is because it makes life it's a lot cheaper. Let's just pick up this rucksack. It's a lot cheaper for recipes. We've already got some recipes which you can only get by village trading. I didn't do the village trading. Um, put those away. 
Uh, what I did instead is I got them from the chests in the in the villages. I can't remember where I put them. Yes, of course. Ah, there you go. So you got specialist projectiles, common projectiles, art furniture coats. These two, you can't make. This one you can. So engineer's blueprint. Let's have a look at that one. Engineer's blueprint, art furnace recipes. Did I just say I can't make that one? Yeah. Oh, that's. Yep, you can. <laughs> Specialist. I could, oh no, you can't. Look. You just click one. So you can make the metal mold presses. We'll need to do that. Crafting components. We'll need to do that one. Common projectiles we've got already. And the other ones are. Hold on. I did that wrong. So that, they're the only three you can make out of five so you basically have to do the other ones so we need a steel plate can't do that yet one so that's the molds this one we can do this is the one I want anyway crafting components so for this recipe for crafting goods we need iron aluminium and copper three blue dyes and three pieces of paper so let's do that blue dye paper what to do with it? I think I left it in here, didn't I? Let's just do it like that. Iron, copper, and iron, copper. Was that the other one? Aluminium, was it? I think. Yes, it is. So the only one I should be missing. Oh, copper. Did I pick up copper? Oh, no, because I'm here. Inventory is completely full. Yes, I did pick it up now. So aluminium will be in here. Try again. Oh, I didn't put that away. It's not full. No. Right again. I think that's magnetic craft. Oh, they're all both magnetic craft. Okay, good. So we should be able to make that now. Is this one I want? And you go and put that into this machine like this. And then you get your recipes. And what I want to do is make the vacuum tubes. So for the vacuum tubes, how am I doing for time? I've run out really. Let's have a quick look at vacuum tubes. this one so we need a copper wire redstone and a nickel plate and a piece of glass now this one's the only thing that's a bit expensive we can cut up some plated copper okay let's do that let's get some copper I think my copper's looking a bit no that's no, fine we're gonna probably need a lot and of course they've got the farm haven't they I've forgotten about that it's got a farm, hasn't he? Because the next thing we're going to have to make in you know, immersive engineering is probably a, a, a windmill. I'm not sure about the water wheel. Let's have a look at the this one. You see, we need steel. Can't do that. But we can possibly do windmill. Because that needs fabric. So we've got two types. We've got the, yes, we can make this one. So this is what I've been making the wood for. So we so that we need eight of those, I think. Yes. And then we can put the fabric on top of them. So the fabric we can make with basically sticks and industrial hemp fibers. And I've been going around getting as much industrial hemp 365 as possible. So now we can make a couple of plates, I'll put them in there. Yes, they did good. So they're smelted up. So we've got three ingots worth, good. We can right click that a couple of times and come down here and pick up the couple of plates. We can then need a pair of wire cutters. This is the vacuum tube, isn't it? So this recipe is just oh, just a pair of shears or this one. The engineer's wire cutters is one piece of iron and two sticks cheaper 
so we'll use that one and two sticks I don't think they're treated sticks I think just ordinary sticks so if I remember rightly it was something like this if I got it wrong then I got it wrong nope good we can go and cut up these make those. This takes damage of course. So we need redstone, um, wires, glass and nickel. I think the other one was nickel wasn't it? Nickel's here. I've got lots of nickel. It was nickel plate. Let me double check the recipe. Indeed it is nickel plate. Right we can shove those into here then. And go to quickly have a sleep before the orbs come out and then I can start to right click this again a couple of times for the copper to go through that should be four pieces of copper now and then hopefully it's got enough space in here to test it's got enough space for the four so we don't have to work too much for that and the glass was over here in this chest of course that's as far as we can get Do we need four? I think we're going to make four of those. Magnetic craft and uh, immersive engineering are very similar in what they're doing, especially at the early stages of this. So let's put in the two pieces of wire into that. Um, glass we needed, where's the top of the glass there? redstone I think yes it was redstone I need some more redstone and we need the nickel plates huh what in the earth happened there there's no way I've got half a copper plate Oh, I've made Constantin. Oh, oh. <laughs> um, okay, let's leave those into there in that case. That I hadn't uh, realised. Oops, I shall be back in a minute. <laughs> I think we'll need Constantin at some stage or other. I'll see you in a second or two. Well, I rescued that by putting some more copper ingots in. So I could then make those. And I actually ended up with some copper ingots from a different mod, actually. I'm not sure which one it got through. Because I think because I, I smelted the copper again, so now we should be able to make these. I got the nickel plates, and each one of these makes three, so we basically need one set. Oh, does your twelve? Okay, fine. And then for the uses of this one, what I want to do is I want to make these. So we just need two pieces of glass pane, which I don't remember where I've got those. Oh, yeah, good. And we should be able to make a powered lamp. Powered light. Not missing one redstone. Like, try that again. We actually get three powered lanterns. Now these things not only do they give you light, but they also keep the mobs at bay. Now the next thing we're gonna have to build on top of that will be the some sort of way to hang those up. So we're gonna need copper wire and we're also going to need I think probably I'm gonna do aluminium posts. So some stone and two of these. So just an aluminium rod, which is two pieces of iron together. Or we can do it in that way, which would be nicer because that would give you actually doesn't give you any best any benefit, does it? Let's make some of those. Because we ain't got no shortage of aluminium. One, two, three. Six I think, isn't it, for a fence? So you can use two to make those. They go in the middle there, and then you can make that makes three. And then you can make one piece of stone, and I think any stone will do. And then we can make these aluminium posts. 
Oh no, I'm missing. It needs to be chiseled, so a big tile. <laughs> okay, so it's strange. Well, we can do that easily enough. We just put that ah, five. I actually want to put that one down. Put that one down, and then I can right click this. I don't know if we should be able to pick up the others. Good. Now we should be able to do it. So we get one aluminium post. And we repeat that process for two more and we should be able to get a few of these things. And then when you put it down, I think we put it down here. Like that it's just a post. So you need then you need the hammer. Did I put the hammer back again? No. Did I put the hammer in here? No. Did I leave the hammer in the other base? More than likely, yes. I think I did. Ha. Huh. We're going to need the hammer. Let's make another hammer quickly. Um, and the other thing we can make are the garden closures from it. But they're pretty awesome, actually. They're very fast. And in fact, those garden closures don't need anything more than we've already got. That one's the only thing that's difficult. And that's two. You see, using this, it's only two pieces of iron instead of four. But one of those. And that makes things grow really fast. In between times, I'm going to make a windmill anyway, and we're going to have to make some copper wire. Now, what did I want? I just wanted the hammer, didn't I? Can't see it. This thing. Oh, yes. Two pieces of iron. One piece of string, is it? So let me just right click this uh, and it'll put on a, a flange and you can put your thing on the flange or you can right click it again and it should disappear and you just put the light on the top of it. Now you can actually climb up these things, it's a bit hard <laughs> and you can actually get onto the top of them. So let's go up here, can I climb up this or not? Because what I wanted to be able to climb up, you, you have a risk of fall damage when you, if you, when you fall off it ain't a good idea so let's just put this down here like this and then we can put oh so I can reach now I can reach now I can put the powered lantern on top of this like that and then you can connect the cables to these points here so and that's what I'm going to go and do between episodes I think because if you do fall off the top you just see it's three blocks high plus and you take four damage I will have a bit more lights and I'll get rid of these torches because of the pollution they're creating. It's all, almost worse than the um, smeltery here. Oops, oops, I'm a bit too close. That was strange. So, until... I uh, uh, can't get out of it. How am I going to get out? If I get near it, I don't get... Don't ask what I'm doing wrong. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, that's, 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 anyway. anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best even tell you what I'm doing. Bye for now.